Hey guys, I'm Matt from PSI Conversion, and in this video, I'm gonna go over the controllers that we use in our standalone systems and show you how to identify the correct controller for your swap. We're gonna start with this PCM. It's a powertrain control module from a 94 or 95 LT1 powered vehicle, and it's referred to as a PCM because it controls both your engine and your transmission the entire powertrain. It's also why they're bulky as they get older. So this large PCM is gonna have four connectors. There's a red one, a gray one, a black one, and a blue one. And right above where the connector plugs in, they are all cast with what color is inside. The service number is gonna end in a 051. And if you need to purchase one for your Gen 2 LT swap, it would be our part number, PCM 1001. As I said, these are available in 94 to 95 LT1 vehicles. We do not support the 96 or 97 computers because there isn't software to tune them available. Moving forward, we have another PCM. We refer to it as the red and blue. The service number is gonna be 411 that can be found on the back of the computer. There's going to be a label. The red and blue refers to the connector colors. If you are unplugging it from a stock harness, oftentimes they are printed blue on the top one and red on the bottom one. They can be referred to as a P01 computer. They're found in 99 to 2002 vehicles. We use these for a lot of the drive, all the drive by cable swaps and some drive by wire for Gen 3 swaps if they were from that range of 99 to 02. And if you need one of these, the part number is PCM1003. Moving up from that, we have externally a very similar looking computer. This would be a green and blue computer, sometimes called a P59. It's another powertrain control module, does both the engine and the trans. The service number is gonna be 242. And you can find these in vehicles from 2003 to 2007 with drive-by wire throttle bodies. And if you need to purchase one for a Gen 3 drive-by wire swap, the part number is PCM1005 from us. After that, they separated the ECM and the TCM. So you got smaller ECM engine control modules like this E40 here. They're square-ish, much smaller. They have these four mounting positions. The, all of them have some sort of fins on the outside. And over here, you'll see this one is cast E40, which designates the model can also tell because it has these two small blue and gray connectors with the large center black connector. And as I said, this only controls the engine. These E40s were found on LS2 vehicles that were 24X, so such as the 2005, 2006 Corvette or same year Pontiac GTO. And they would be used in conjunction with a T42 TCM that are these small squares very flat and they just have the single black connector. After the E40, we had the E38, which overall shape is very similar, but instead of having three connectors, you have two large connectors, one black, one gray, and the fins extend up through the middle of them. Right in the center, this one's cast with the model E38 and these were found on 58X vehicles, and they could be paired up to either a T42 if you had a 4L60 or 4L80 transmission for an automatic, as well as this T43 transmission controller, which is found inside of the 6L80 transmissions. Um, we'll put a link to the removal instructions in the description if you need to remove that because these have to be paired up to whatever ECM you're going to use. 
So it's very important to have both of them paired together or get them from the same vehicle. We do not sell T43s by itself, but if you do need an E38 by itself, the part number is 1009 from our website. After the E38, GM introduced the E67. We went back to three connectors, two large, one black, one gray, with a smaller blue connector. And up in the top corner between the fins, it's cast E67. These ones also have E67 on the tag on the back of the controllers. Again, these only control the engine, and they were found on Many vehicles that were Gen 4, we only use the E67 for our LSA setups, which we offer in both manual or 6L80, so it would be paired with a T43. If you need to purchase one of these ECMs from us, it would be part number PCM1011. And that would bring us to the end of the Gen 4 controllers. After that, we move on to the new Gen 5 LT stuff. They have these bigger ECMs, three large connectors, blue, black, and gray. They're cast right in this big opening, E92, as well as being on the back tag. They have E92 there. And these could be paired with a T43 from a 6L80, or if you have an 8L90 eight-speed, you might have a T87, which is this smaller external TCM. It's got one black connector. It's got some fins on it. It is cast along the bottom here, T87, as well as being on the sticker on the back, T87 in big letters. Now, what you need to watch out for with these is there is a T87A, which was introduced later as an update. You can notice the silver back as well as the sticker on the back has a large A at the end of it. The casting on the front is the same, and the, without looking at the back, they do look identical, but the T87A is encrypted from GM and requires it to be unlocked from HP tuners, which is a big process, and at the moment, we do not support doing that. If you need to purchase a Gen 5 controller, it would be either part number PCM 2001 for the 2014 to 2016 four wire fuel rail pressure sensor engines would be the 2001 part number. And if you need the later 2017 and up controller, it would be PCM 2003. Thanks for watching guys. Hope this video helps you get your project wired up and fired up. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment with any questions you have about this information or any videos that you wanna see in the future. For any of your LS swap needs, go to psiconversions.com or to speak to one of our team members, you can call this number or email either one of these email addresses. We'll see you guys in the next video. E40 to distinguish this computer. These were used in the 24X LS2 vehicle. Can't use that tape. <laughs>